obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a, a spiral heat exchanger. Spiral heat exchangers are circular units containing two concentric spiral flow channels, one for each fluid. The different media flow counter currently. One fluid enters the center of the unit and flows towards the periphery, the other enters the unit at the periphery and moves towards the center. The present problem is concerned with the simulation of a spiral heat exchanger. In this spiral path, two paths for cold water and hot water are used so that the temperature difference between the two water flows causes heat transfer. The hot flow enters the central part of the heat exchanger and exits the heat exchanger environment in the perpendicular direction to the inlet area, while the cold current has the opposite direction of the hot stream and enters the heat exchanger environment and exits from the central part of the heat exchanger in, in a direction perpendicular to the input path. The coil plates are embedded between two hot and cold flow paths made of steel with a thickness of 0.01 meter. The exterior wall of the model is also made of steel. The 3D geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler Software. The geometry of the present model consists of a cylinder with a separating plate inside the cylinder which creates two separate spaces for hot and cold fluid flow. Similarly, for each of the two spaces created, an inlet and an outlet cross-section determine the route of the inlet and outlet flow, and their structure is such that the inlet and outlet flow paths are perpendicular to each other. The meshing of the present model is done by ICEM software. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured and the element number is equal to 450,631. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, by clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Also, we have enabled the RNGK Epsilon model in order to solve for our fluid flow equation. Also, we, uh, the RNGK Epsilon model has some benefits over the standard model. For example, in this project, since we are not dealing with high speed flows, RNGK Epsilon model is selected. Also, RNGK Epsilon model is more accurate and robust than standard model. Now under the cells and conditions section, all we have to do is to change the material name from air to water liquid in this window. Just like the previous boundary, for the hot water inlet, the type of boundary is set to be mass flow inlet. Again, by clicking on edit, the settings window will open. Now for this specific wall boundaries, if you click on the thermal tab, you can see the thermal condition of coupled is defined for this wall which means that this wall is in contact with fluid on its both sides. After double clicking on the controls button, a new window will appear showing you different values for current number and under relaxation factors. The current number is a factor for how fast we are progressing in our simulation process. And for problems with high nonlinearity, we should decrease this current number. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change these under relaxation factors. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, 
it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now in this slide you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our spiral heat exchanger and you can easily see the changes of the temperature of two flows of hot and cold water. In this slide you can see the velocity distribution for two flows of hot and cold water inside our computational domain. Finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.